Hey there, speed seekers. Ever look at an athlete's physique and think, what exactly makes them so fast? It's a common puzzle. After all, most elite athletes seem to have muscles spread out, right? That's why it's not always clear which muscles are truly crucial for that burst of speed. We're breaking it down, muscle by muscle. First up, the tibialis anterior. It's that muscle in the front of your shin controlling your foot's upward movement. While specific studies on the tibialis anterior's impact on sprint speed are limited, its role in injury prevention and efficient movement patterns is acknowledged. It's essential for the prevention of shin splints, a common issue among sprinters. It's got a role in sprinting, sure, but beefing it up won't make you the next Usain Bolt. Quads, the powerhouse of your upper legs, are crucial, especially when you're blasting off the starting line. They keep your knees from giving out and help you pick up speed, definitely useful for that initial sprint burst. A study in the Journal of Strength and Conditioning Research found that quad strength is significantly correlated with sprint performance in athletes. Also, Usain Bolt, known for his explosive starts, has notably powerful quads. Now let's talk about hip flexors. These guys lift your legs and, believe it or not, can actually make you sprint faster, especially at the start. A study published in the Journal of Sports Sciences highlighted the importance of hip flexor strength for sprint speed. Training them could give your acceleration a nice boost. Sprinters like Allison Felix demonstrate the importance of strong hip flexors through their high knee lift and powerful acceleration. The chest might be a shocker, but it's not really pulling its weight in the sprinting world. However, while there's less direct evidence linking chest strength to sprint speed, a balanced upper body is essential for optimal athletic performance and injury prevention. Bench pressing can make you look buff. It doesn't contribute much to your sprint. Next, the glute medius, not to be confused with the gluteus maximus, is a stabilizer for your hips and knees and plays its part in keeping you upright and speedy. But when it comes to pure speed, it's in the supporting cast. Now let's talk core, your body's very own stabilizer. A solid core keeps you from wobbling and losing precious energy as you sprint. A study in the Journal of Biomechanics found that core stability is essential for maximizing force output and speed. Decathletes, who require a high level of overall fitness and stability for various events like Ashton Eaton, often have exceptionally strong core muscles. Moving on to your calves. These lower leg champs transmit all that power you're generating straight to the ground. Without strong calves, you're not going anywhere fast. A must train for sprinters. A correlation between calf muscle size and sprint performance has been observed in athletes. Strong calves allow for a more powerful push-off, contributing to increased stride length. Let's talk about shoulders and arms, the dynamic duo that balance out those powerful leg movements. While they might not be pushing you forward, they're essential for maintaining rhythm and balance. Don't skip arm day if speed is what you're after. Studies on arm swing in sprinting emphasize that arm motion can significantly impact balance and speed. Next, hamstrings, the real MVPs of the sprinting world. They're crucial for that final push off the ground and for keeping your stride efficient and injury free. Absolute must trains for any speed demon. Andre de Grasse's smooth running technique and fast speeds can be partly attributed to strong hamstrings. And now, the moment you've been waiting for, the ultimate speed muscle, the gluteus maximus. Research overwhelmingly supports the gluteus maximus's role in sprint performance. A strong gluteus maximus is associated with higher force production and speed. This powerhouse is the engine behind your sprint, driving you forward with each explosive step. For top-tier speed, your glutes need to be in top-tier shape. Remember, speed isn't just about one muscle. It's about the whole team working together. Focus on these key players, and you'll be setting new records in no time.